I'm Maggie Coglin, editorial director of Page6.com. And here at Page6, we can't be held accountable for all of the outrageous things the housewives do. We can only report on them. I am an accountability coach for health and fitness, not Puppygate. And many have even offered great parenting advice. So in order to avoid children from crying, red balloon. Everyone gets a red balloon. So let's break it down. These are the six hottest housewife stories of the week. We're starting off in the OC with our big exclusive about Megan King Edmonds. Megan, a former Real Housewife who will be making appearances this season, revealed a lot from her husband's alleged affair to the struggles with her one-year-old son. She said, a lot of people tell me I'm strong. I don't want to be strong anymore but I think it's possible to be strong and still feel all the feelings of sadness, anger, regret, and guilt. For more details on this whole story, including some information about the alleged mistress, head to page6.com. And now over to New York, or should I say the Hamptons, where Ramona Singer was at it again. A spy told us that Ramona was giving out her digits to some younger men, but Ramona said she was only hanging out with her girlfriends. It sounds like the Ramona coaster rides again. I love Mom's this story. Mom's 75. She is good. You know, she told me that her googly eyes, whatever she does, I don't know how it works. Over in Atlanta news, or should I say ex-housewives trying to fly back to Atlanta, Kim Zolciak and her many, 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 many children were kicked off of a Delta flight. Kim's 22-year-old daughter Brielle took to Twitter to explain that the family was removed from the flight because her siblings started to cry while they waited for their father Croy and the family service dog. We spoke to Delta and they told us that Kim and her family elected to deplane the flight and they weren't kicked off. It sounds like you could be tardy for the party, but you cannot be late and unprepared for air travel. Now over to Beverly Hills, where the reunions keep on giving. Nothing is off limits, including attacks on personal hygiene. Camille Grammer accused Lisa Vanderpump of having bad breath, which you better believe caused some serious bad blood. You know, this has nothing to do with I any of it. But you can still say she has terrible breath and her gums are receding? That was a joke and you all laughed. Lisa's husband, Ken, came to her defense getting on Twitter to tell everybody to now attack her personal hygiene disgusts me. I could put it out there that my wife's breath is as sweet as she is. I'm the one who kisses her daily. I should know. In sickness and in dental health. In more Beverly Hills reunion news, Erica Jane and the rest of the cast wants you to keep your plastic surgery questions to yourself. Andy Cohen learned this the hard way when he read a fan's question for Dorit. Rachel from Portland said, Dorit, according to Lisa Vanderpump, you've had a head transplant. <laughs> What work have you had done since last season? The rest of the ladies were quick to interject. I hate it when people say, what work have you had done? Mm -hmm. What work have you had done? It's just kind of rude. While Dorit denied having a head transplant, a la Lisa Vanderpump. She's had a head transplant. She did own up to having Botox and fillers injected into her face. Lisa Rinna chimed in with, what's wrong with that? I feel like Dorit had a barrette for every time she'd been attacked this season. And lastly, we can't leave the Beverly Hills reunion couch without talking about Camille Grammer storming off the set. This is where we think before we speak, Camille. This is totally set. What is a setup? I'm done. A setup. No, I'm done. what are you talking about? Did I'm your done. own What are you talking done. about? I'm done. Camille and Denise Richards have been going at it the entire reunion, but Camille finally reached her breaking point. She was so mad, she couldn't even keep her clothes on. Is she on something? She did say she cursed at her kids. And she did say that. I thought this was supposed to be a take down, not a take off. Keep your clothes on, Camille. You look great though. Stick with page six for your housewife's fix. And remember, we're here to lift your spirits and maybe even your jawline and inject a little fun into your day.